Hello there, this is Jackie Herbert and welcome back to Let's Play Banjo Kazooie. Let's finish finish up completing Bubble Poop Swamp. I believe we've got a few more chickies to get and another honeycomb piece and a few more notes. I think that's pretty much everything in this level left to get. Now I remember one of these chickies is gonna be a right pain in the ass for me. It's uh, another one of those mini game like things. I'm not particularly good at it, so Okay, so if we head over this way. We can now head into this huge maze thing. No, not this huge crocodile thing, that's for later. There's a, up here, there is a maze. I'm not sure if I showed it before, but it's up here. And it's full of swamp. And leave me alone, dragonfly. Okay. Inside this, in this maze, there's a whole bunch of notes which collect along the way. I find you have enough time so long as you don't walk the long way around, like around the edges, so long as you like stick on the insides and you grab the notes, generally you'll get enough time to get to the next set of shoes. These, uh, th these Wellington boots actually allow you to walk in the thing just fine, so no problem to those piranhas inside the swamp biting my toes. I don't know why they'd like to bite toes, surely it's not going to be particularly appetising. Oh look, it's another jiggy switch. And an unfriendly looking... Where is... yeah. Basically this one, ground pound, and there it is. Oh, oh, and there's a very nasty looking walk, which you have to make within 10 seconds. It's actually not that bad though, because just like that, easy. Which leaves two more jiggies, one of which is a Jinjo jiggy, and then that's the other jig. That's the other jiggy. There's the uh, other jiggy inside the crocodile thing, which obviously I have to do, but we can't get in there because we're too big. However, maybe something a little bit smaller c could get in there, probably. There's, I think there's something back here. I seem to forget sometimes. Yeah, you can back on token. That's it. Right. And inside here, I, I I forget this occasionally, but if you go up up to the top of here, there is a empty honeycomb piece in the top. Now that uh, I missed that a few times, so don't forget that one. And ten tokens, and we can get the transformation. What are you going to turn me into this time? It's a crocodile. It's quite fitting, actually. Wait, Mumbo need new boots. Only kidding. Don't make me into boots, you bastard! Nom 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 nom! Bite your feet! Oh, so you had a token ball right behind you. I'm gonna leave you alone now. So... Okay, so now... Now, I think if we kill these bastards as... As this crocodile, we get two health instead of one, which is quite, quite useful. Not entirely sure. Oh, you need to. I believe I left some notes over this way, so I'll quickly go grab those. Oh yeah, and as you can see... You can walk fine in the swamp, there's no damage to be done. Yeah, yeah, I need to leave notes over here. I'm gonna need these. Glad I didn't forget them otherwise. <laughs> spent a long time looking around for them. Now, I hope I actually managed to get all the notes. It'd be a bit awkward if I, if I forgot some. Now, I could go into the crocodile now, but I, I think there's a small chance I might die in there. So, I'm going to collect all the notes and Jinjo's first and then go in there. Otherwise, if I die, I lose all the notes and the Jinjo's. So, you know, it's for the best that I get the other bits done first. I'm just really hoping that I do have all the notes. I think I'm pretty set. There's a few over here and there's a Jinjo just there. The last Jinjo. Give me, give me, give me another Jiggy. Hey, Jinjo. There we go. It's 9 out of 10. Last, I've uh, seen notes over there as well, but there's also notes over here, so we've got these. A couple of Eek and Bokum tokens. And then, note, some more notes over here. Get away from me! Ah! Okay. And then, hey, stay away, stay away, I don't want to deal with you. Where are the other notes then? Uh, there. I know there's 6 inside the crocodile, which means I'm missing. Five, probably around one of the edges. Did I? I got. I already got all the ones over there. Hmm. That's strange. I'm not entirely sure where the notes I may have missed are. What, could they have been over here? 
I don't remember whether I checked checked round the back. You know, round, round the back. Of the oh, there they are. Okay, that's good. So, yep, that's all the notes. If you collect these, and then there's six inside the crocodile's head, and that that should be all the notes. Because there happens to be three stuffed up each particular nostril. I know, lovely, right? Yeah. Now, I don't need to write this, so I can just go through the thing. So now if I make my way over to the crocodile head, where is it? Is it this way? No, it's the other way. It's opposite the turtle. Tortoise. Whatever it is. This guy looks very... looks very... what's the, what's the word I'm looking for? Uninviting. Just crawl in there. And then, hey look! It's 27... 27? 97 even. And if, oh, you can back up Get the last three. Cool! Now all I need is the jiggy from this guy. And this is a mini game which I am not particularly fond of. You can come back later after you get the speedy cues and do it a lot easier. But I... I can't be bothered to wait that long. It's a lot harder if you do it without them though. Huh <laughs> I'm Mr. Vile, greediest crook of all. Play my game to win a prize. Press A to accept a beast chicken out. I'll play. Game is simple. Eat more red yumblies than me. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Okay. So basically, you s these pop out and you just need to grab them before he does. It can be a bit, a bit, a bit harder than it sounds. Because they just appear randomly, so... You can get a streak of bad luck where he can get a whole bunch and you can get absolutely none. Like I seem to be getting right now. Uh, the idea really, uh, the best strategy. Ah, what the? They just appear. That that's 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 what really annoys me about this game is they just disappear out of nowhere and appear out of nowhere and he gets them all and you get none. I think that really the best strategy, which I'm not really applying right now, is to is to actually go for the ones that he's going. That way he. You, like, you like steal them off of him, but the the downside is if you miss, he gets him and you get none. So I think that works best if you have the speedy shoes. Okay, I think I might have this. Come on, yep, I got it. Twenty nine to twenty six, not bad. Another thing that's a little bit annoying: if you tie, it counts as a loss. Also, you have to play it three times, and they change every time. The second time, now there's also yellow ones which stun you, so you want to not eat them. Uh, so, oh, we've oh, got lucky over here, there's a whole set of four. Oh god, even more of them. That's brilliant. Although he seems to be off to a good start as well, so... Ah, bugger, he, went, he managed to grab him. I like, I like the music though, that's the good thing about it. Oh god! Ah! Did I steal it off him? I can't tell. Oh shit. Piss. He's getting a bunch. Oh no, no, I got him off him, got him off him. There you go. Oh, almost at that yellow guy, that would have not been good for me. Ah, oh, come on, he's got a streak of two, that's annoying. Hey! Oh god, okay. It's a bit closer this time. Okay. I think I might have it. Yep, yep. Tw 24 to 21. Okay. That's fine. But the third game is the one that's actually difficult. In the third game, basically it switches which one you want to be eating. And you can get completely screwed over massively by this. Okay, so switching yet? It's not. Okay, now it's switching. Grab the yellows. Ah, oh, oh, piss! Oi, you dickhead! Get out of the way! Ah, oh, fuck it now. It's gonna switch. You can kind of estimate when it's gonna switch, but you can never be too sure. Uh, I, there we go. Switching now. There we go. I don't know why you'd want to eat, eat the yellows at any time, though. They kind of look horrible. Okay, grab that there. Switch to red. Oh, no, they just disappeared. There's just... No! Cock, cock, cock. This is not good. Uh, eat it. Yellow, yellow. Oh, dear. Oh, no. Oh, no! I don't think I can... Oh, I might. I might be okay. I might be okay. 
Yes. Well, 20 to 18, that's good. Mr. Vile never lost before. Greeny can have prize. Yeah, I'll take that prize. Thank you very much. Uh, no, no, I don't want the tougher challenge. Basically, you can win three games in a row, but you get three lives. But if you lose, you you just die. So I'm going to piss off for that. Mr. Vile, as bad as Croc of all. Look, everyone, Greeny is scared. I don't care. Because <laughs> I've I got nothing to gain from that. I don't need any lives. And it's cost me lives. Anyway, so that's that's pretty much all of Bubble Group Swamp finished up. So I f believe I'll head out to as the crocodile to f go through that tunnel I opened a couple of episodes ago. If you remember the one, the icy tunnel. It's a little uh, little um, secret waiting for us there. It's not so much of a secret really. Well, it, it kind of is. But either way, that's where I'm going to head now. Let's head out of the level. Hey, our night school's 100 again. Brilliant. So yeah, right, down here we'll f find... Like, the game calls it a cheat, but I I don't really see it as being a cheat, since you have to unlock it to be able to do it. It's more of just a unlockable bonus, I suppose. I, I don't really know. But basically, you, you go through this through this little tunnel over here, and you, we can actually fit in there now, so just crawl through, and what's on the other side? <gasps> it's... it's a book! A book of spells! Cheetor, the spell book you have found. Magic cheats are for you. Hey, book brain, what did you say? You better not give my spells away! Which lost book finders bear and bird are? Spell they get! We sure do bag, lady. Come on, book boy, give us the spells. Only one spell cheater can tell. Enter the code Blue Eggs on Sandcastle Floor in Treasure Trove Cove World. Help you at will. Thanks, Mr. Cheeto. Hidden in, in there, other spell books are. Them you should find. Yeah, basically, they give you an expansion to each of your, like, uh, what's the word? Consumable items, such as eggs, feathers, yeah, those things. Each, there's three of them, each one corresponding to a different consumable. So I I think I'll go to Treasure Trove Cove and type in this code. So I will see you there. And here we are to enter the code, which is, as you probably remember, is blue eggs. So B A L. Where's the U then? There it is. Blue eggs, and you can probably guess what this is going to do, because it's blue eggs. It's obviously going to double our blue eggs, like so. 200 eggs are now yours. Now 200 is maximum too. That lousy cheat for extra eggs won't help bear and chicken legs. Sure as hell will at one point in the game. Okay, so now that we have completed Bubble Hop Swamp and activated the cheat, I believe it's time to head up this side. I believe there's a note door up here. I, th I think. Is it a note door? Yes, it is. Oh god, 260, Pfft, easy, 400. Alright, so we're sending up here. This is uh, this is where you get to a point in the game where you have to make a decision, because there's uh, actually two levels you can do in either order. You can't actually 100% either until you, like, complete one of the others. I'm going to do it, the, I've always done it in the order, I always do free CC peak first, so that's the way I'm going to do it this time. There, I don't need them yet. Okay, open this one, there is actually a, actually first of all I'm going to get the, uh, get the extra, oh hey, you're blue, that means you have more health, so I'm just going to kill you in one hit anyway. Hit this switch, which activates a, a shock pad, which spins around there, and I'm going to use that to get the... Uh, what would you call it? Uh, the, the the bitch switch jiggy that that was inside that after we like popped the hat. So like if you just jump up into into this into this into this vase and you drop down and hey look jiggy. Woohoo! So that's five of them. That means there's only five more, which is actually actually doing pretty good. 
So we've already actually opened up the um, the freezy. Oh god, <laughs> the freezy easy peak level. We just haven't actually found the the gate for it. So let's head there and then we'll um we'll get freezy easy peak. I believe if you head up these stairs to the left, we find a new area. Once again, another new area. And just go to the right. There's a note door there. We could probably open it, but I'm not going to bother right, right yet. You know, just go past the Hey, look, it's a snowy area. It's probably is the Freeze Easy Peak. And sure enough, here it is. Freeze Easy Peak. And we will enter here in the next episode. So I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.